Hello everyone. If you want to listen to your local police or fire department, you are at the right place. Most of the security services recently have started using trunk radio. That is just a fancy way of saying digital radio. Most low cost radios like a Baofeng UV5R are not going to be really useful for that purpose. These radios allow only to listen to analog signals, but most of the PDs are using trunk radio or digital modes. So you basically have two options. You can either go out and buy an expensive device from Motorola or convert and spend hundreds of dollars, or you can buy a cheap SDR device. Even for SDR, there are a bunch of SDR devices out there. You can buy an HackRF1 or Ubertooth1, Yardstick1, Seed Studio, Kiwi SDR, Pluto SDR, and so on. What we are gonna be using in this video is an RTL SDR. I will show you how you can spend 25 to 35 bucks and get a basic setup going through which you can listen to your local emergency management services and other departments. I will also show you how to set up the required software and find the frequencies on which your local PD might be broadcasting. As I mentioned, in this video, we will be using RTL SDR. It's a cheap software defined radio device that allows you to listen to the radio frequencies generally between 24 MHz and 1766 MHz. It is low cost enough that you generally don't have to think twice before getting one of them. You can buy it from Amazon from this link. I will share it in the video description below. You have two options. You can buy either the device itself, which will cost you 24.95, or you can buy a full package, which comes with an antenna and a bunch of other peripherals. Now, buying a device itself might sound nicer because it only costs 25 bucks. But here's the thing. The device by itself does not come with an antenna and if you're like me you would want to have an antenna because you can't really listen to anything without having an antenna so it's just easier to buy the full package by itself without having to go around and look for different antennas that you might be able to connect to your rtl sdr so just buy this package it only costs 35 dollars or 34.95 and you should be good to go if you don't have the package stop this video now order this on Amazon and continue watching this video once you have the package with you. If you already have it, perfect, and we can move on. Now that you have the SDR device, you need a software to communicate to, with this SDR device from your operating system. And the software we're gonna be using for that is SDR Trunk. It's an amazing piece of open source software that is also cross-platform. It is written by a guy named Denny. I don't even want to pronounce the last name because I would butcher the name really badly. It already includes a bunch of different digital modulation modes so that we don't really have to download anything extra other than a couple of things that I will explain in a bit. In order to download SDR trunk, click on releases. It will take you to the releases page. Scroll down and click on assets and download whatever version is for your operating system. I'm using Mac, so I'll be downloading the Mac version. We will be using the latest version at the time of this video, which is 0 0.5.0 alpha 3. Click on save. The best part about SDR trunk, apart from being open source and being cross-platform, is that it has a really vibrant Google group where you can ask a bunch of questions. It also has a Discord channel, which is fairly active. So if you get stuck, there are people out there who can help you right away. Once you have SDR trunk downloaded, click on SDR trunk, open it up. Let's see where it is. There you go. Click on bin and click on SDR trunk. Now, if you're trying to open this for the first time, it is going to give you an error. For example, in this case, Java cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. Mac is notorious, or more like Apple is notorious for letting independent developers publish apps for Mac operating system without giving Apple a $100 fee. So in order to bypass this particular issue, this is not a malware. This is just Mac's way of telling you this developer is not identified, so just move on at your own risk. Click on cancel. In order to fix this issue, click on this Apple icon, go to system preferences, then click on security and privacy. 
click on the general tab and you can see here the last block is listed here it blocked java so it tells you java was blocked click on allow anyway exit the security and privacy settings page and double click on our sdr trunk again now it shows us an extra option of open click on open and it should open the sdr trunk software Make sure that your SVR device is plugged into your machine before you try to open our SVR trunk. And there you go. The software is working perfectly fine. You can see a beautiful waterfall here and you can see the, a waveform here. Now, before we move on, we need to install something extra. Because of licensing concerns, the software author did not include an audio library called JMBE. So in order to download that, click on click on view, click on user preferences and go down to GMB audio library and click on create library. It will tell you an update is available. Click on yes and click on create library. We do want to continue. Please wait and we will let it do its magic. It's going to take only a couple of seconds for that to download and install. And there you go. The library was successfully created slash updated. Click on OK and click on Exit. Now the software is working. The next step is to figure out at what frequency your local emergency management services or fire department or police department is broadcasting at. And for that, there's a wonderful resource available online at radioreference.com. It lists all the registered frequencies in a particular region. So go to radioreference.com. I will also link this in the video description below. Click on the search bar and type in whichever location you are currently at. I'm in Madison County, New York. So I will search for Madison County. Wait for the search to show up. Scroll down and there you go. Madison County, New York scanner frequencies. Click on that. So now it has opened up the Madison County, New York page. Let's scroll down. It lists the different frequencies for different departments. As you can see here, it's the fire or EMS department. The frequency is listed, the different licenses for those frequencies are listed, the type, whether it's a base station or mobile or a repeater, the PL tone or CTCS tone is listed, the alpha description, more tag, all of that stuff. What I'm interested in is the Madison County public safety frequency, which is 460.40000. It's a repeater and, and mobile. The mode is listed as P25. P25 is a digital mode. In this case, it is not encrypted. If it was, it would have also added a small E for partial encryption and a capital E for full encryption. Because it is not encrypted, we don't need to jump through different hoops. We can simply use this frequency as it is. Go back to SDR trunk. And in order to listen to that particular frequency, we have to go to playlist editor. In playlist editor, okay, that is service un unavailable. I'll explain that error later on as well. So in order to input the frequency, go to channels page, click on new and click on P25 phase one. Generally, whenever there is a P25 frequency, you can safely select phase one if it doesn't work with phase one then you can try phase two but phase one should work most of the time now we have to fill in a bunch of different settings for the system i'm going to be using let's do madison county for site i'm going to do hamilton this is the town i'm in the name you can just do public safety or whatever you want to call it for frequency we're going to do 460.400 and for the preferred tuner, I'm going to use an RTL SDR. And then everything else looks good. Let's click on save and click on play. There you go, it's playing now. If we close this, go to the main screen. Wait, what? In the waveform, the peak is at 460.473 and not at 460.400. So what's the case here? Well, the RTL SDR device generally drifts as well. For example, the frequency that is supposed to show up at 460.400 might 
drift a little bit and show up at 460.473. In order to fix that, I generally just eyeball what the frequency is on the waveform and then go back to playlist editor and let's click on stop and just update this frequency here. So it was 460.473. Let's type that in here. Click on save and click on play again. We close this. Perfect. Now it is recognized as the control frequency and we are good to go. As soon as someone starts speaking, the different call groups are going to start showing up here. I won't be adding their audio in this recording, but there you go. The call, that means someone is talking right now. And there you go. Now you have a basic system for listening to your local police department and fire department and all sorts of departments. Before I finish this video, I'm gonna explain a couple of things that I did not explain during the first half of the video. For example, we saw this radio reference error or services currently unavailable. So what was that about? So if you go to the playlist editor, you can see a radio reference tab. Previously, I hardcoded in the particular channel frequency. Another option is to go to the radio reference tab and log in using a username and password. This username and password is actually from the radioreference.com website. You can create a username and password there. And what that allows you to do is you can select the country, state, county, and it will automatically list all the different frequencies, protocols, and all of that stuff. So you don't have to hard code it in. You can just select the particular frequency from this table and load it in. The issue is with a basic account, you cannot get access to all of that information. You need a paid account and that generally costs around 15 bucks. You can either do that or there is actually a way to sidestep that. You basically have to promise radio reference that you have to feed them some information. I am not too sure about that. I did not try it that way. A lot of people are generally happy with the $15 membership. I'm not even sure if it costs $15. It might even cost less than that. So if you just want to automate the frequency thingy, you can create a user account on radioreference.com, pay them, and then sign in into the radio reference account from SDR Trunk and go from there. And there you go. Now you have a working system for listening to your local emergency management services or police department, fire department, or generally all sorts of department who are using Trunk Radio. Even if they are using a normal radio, you can listen to that as well. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I will try to make some more fun videos similar to this one in the near future. See you in the next video.